Right now it's, it's 18 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm sitting in a parking lot waiting for the credit union to open so I can deposit a couple checks. I just got off a 12 hour shift. The first one of the week is always the hardest so I look like shit. But uh, who cares, you know? It's not like I'm trolling for babes. But this is a follow up to that video, Trust. That video there was a uh, totally fictitious story. But that is indeed how lotto scams work. You, know, you look in your email, it says you won the lottery in some other country. And if you would actually contact them, they would send you a check. And they would say, well, you cashed this, you sent us back X thousands of dollars from this check for processing fees and taxes in our local municipality where we're at, and then we'll send you your total winnings. And what they're doing is sending you a bad check and letting you take the chances of cashing it. If you succeed, they'll probably find a reason to send you another check uh, and see if you can do it again until you get caught. I mean, that's the way the scam works. So if you haven't watched that video, it's called Trust. Go ahead and watch it. Because people will trust strangers often more than they will trust their own family or their own friends that they, they should trust because they have years knowing them. Oh, it was on the internet. It must be true, right? Yeah. It was in the paper. It must be true. And this is just another story along those lines, especially when that person of trust appears to be an authority. Many of you know that I taught computers in the Navy for four years. Well, whenever you picked up a new class, you'd pick them up on a Friday and you'd go down to the lab downstairs and you do orientation with them. You know, you just bring them in, you talk about what's expected, what's going to happen, uh, where things are going to go from here. And there's no real training the first day except getting them familiarized with what's going on. Well, I, I happened upon one of these classes stuck out in the hallway because for some reason the door wasn't open. I said, oh, the door hasn't been opened yet, you know? Let me, uh, let me get that for you. Oh, no, that's all right. Our instructor was here. He's already going up to get the key. I said, oh, so you've seen your instructor, so you know. And I just let that go like that. I, I, you know, I said, yeah. I said, See, it's, he's got a convenient marriage that works for him and his wife, but we know the truth. So I left it in their little brain. They saw this instructor. I had my little instructor dudes on, and they knew that I was in a position of authority there. And I basically just said that their instructor in the Navy was gay. Without actually saying it, because I wouldn't say that. You know, not that there's anything wrong with that, but, you know, the Navy has their rules, and that was one of the problems that gay population runs into in the United States is that they can't be in the service. I didn't think anything about it, you know? I just left it go. Five weeks later, that instructor had to take a day off, uh, sick appointment, something. And I took over his class. And as I was training his class, the subject came up that their instructor was gay. This is five weeks later. And they still believe this, even though it was just planted in a 30 second conversation in front of the entire group. A drive-by planting of the seed. It was so incredibly funny. I cracked my... Oh, man. I couldn't stop laughing at him. They said, what are you talking about? I said, where did you get that idea? Another instructor told us. I said, I said that, that's not right. He said, no, it's true. The other instructor told us. I said, I was that other instructor, man. That was a drive-by little bomb that I planted that was just a joke. And y'all will believe anything. So I find I found that incredible that uh <laughs> that five weeks later that little joke, that little side comment that I put in there was still there. And for whatever reasons I straightened it out. You know, I don't know why I would want to, but I did. And uh <laughs> but people will believe pretty much anything and trust anybody, especially when they believe that that individual is in a position of authority or a position of knowledge. Like the internet. If it's on the internet, it must be true. All those emails you ever got about this, that, or the other thing, they're all obviously true. So you take them and you spread them out to other people. And your friends say, well, Bill sent me this. Must be true. So... I'm going to send it out to someone else. And it gets spread and spread and spread around. It's incredible how that happens. 
I get those emails and I send them an email link. I send everybody if they were if they're silly enough not to send blind addresses, I reply to all. And I say, This is bullshit. Here's a link you can go to to find out the truth. People, take two seconds. Two seconds and Google the damn thing and at least have an idea of whether it's right or not before you send it. Don't trust blindly. Do a little research yourself. Have a great day.